some jobs that, that require a uniform. Military, absolutely. Nursing, absolutely. Fast food, yes. Let me ask you a question. Does evil have a uniform? Mm. 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 Evil doesn't require a uniform. I think we all know this. I think we all I think we all know that evil does not require a uniform no more than Satan requires a pitchfork and a cape. One of my classmates in seminary when I was at Wake Forest, he said, people call other people evil because they it gives them permission to then hate them. And that stuck with me. I thought about it. And I was like, yeah, because if I say you're evil and I can hate evil, that means I can hate you. Therein lies uh, one of the main conversations that happens in our culture, in our society. We call, some, we call somebody evil, and if they're evil, that means I can hate them. And if I can hate them, you know what else I can do? Kill them. But I still have hope. You know why I still have hope? Because I believe that people that love God will put God first. And we will stop letting things divide us. All racism is, is just a tool of division. That's all it is. Racism was designed to divide. And it has done an extremely good job. Every, everything they can put in front of us to divide us, that's what they lay out there. Because there's strength and unity. And I am, I'm, I'm praying I'm hoping and I'm waiting for the day that Christians agree on God's God love so much so that everything that comes after that is not a divisive issue because we agree on the love of God.